Well, I'm going to take you through uh, how to put a photo book together using the vanilla photo book software. And the first stage would be to actually download the software from the vanilla photo books website. Um, it's available for PC or a Mac and it's totally free to download. So you would just click on one of the download buttons on our site and install the software, follow the simple instructions to install the software. Um, the next uh, step is to actually take your, um, prepare your photographs that you wish to use within your photo book. Um, I've got some, a folder here of color corrected images. Uh, these are RGB JPEGs, um, which is the formats accepted by the software. So I've put these in a folder on my desktop. And the next step is to actually open up the uh, Vanilla Photobook software. And at this screen, I will create a new project. And I'm going to choose the VIP Photographic Seamless Wedding Album, which is actually our bestseller, a very popular book with professional photographers. So I'm just going to open that. And I'm going to name that project so I can save it and open it at a later date and work on it. I don't have to work on it all at once. I can work on it in stages. You'll see here that the project opens. Just reduce this screen down slightly. There are some instructions here that we don't actually need. Uh, helpful instructions. I'm just going to delete those for the purpose of this demonstration. And uh, you'll see in the main window we have our, um, our, sp our current spread that we're actually on within the book. So this is when you open the book, pages um, one and two. And along the top of the um, software here, you will see a preset template that we've put in place just to help people get started. You're not fixed to this template. It's actually totally customizable or um, adaptable for your own needs, but we've put it in there to help people rather than giving them uh, a lot of blank pages. So the next step is to actually add your images to the software. So I'm going to select the folder that I put my images in earlier. And you will see that these have now been added on the left hand side. These are all high-res JPEGs, so it's very, very fast software, runs locally on the machine. Now at this point, I can literally drag and drop the images into the layout as I wish. Or there is actually, I'll just go back a couple of steps, I can actually use the auto flow function. And this will automatically drop the images into the layout in the order shown on the left-hand side. I'll just quickly go through that. And you, as you can see, it's not done a bad job of dropping those images in. It's cut a few heads off in places, but that's easily fixed by double clicking on an image, for example, and just adjusting the crop. Um, if if you're, you're not happy with the layout of a particular spread, uh, down the bottom here, you see that we've got loads and loads of built-in page styles. And if you see one that suits your needs, you can simply drag it up onto the page and it will reformat those pictures into uh, the new page style. So very, very easy to do. Um, I'll just drag this one up as an example. So that's reformatted those images into that uh, t um, page style. Um, none of our templates are actually locked. So very easy to move items around on the screen and to scale boxes. You can add uh, a picture box, for example, at any point and manually drag images into it. So you can create your own templates and you can also um, save these templates. Once you've created a layout, you can actually save a template. I'll call this Damien1. And you'll see this appear at the bottom. 
Now if I want to apply that to another spread, I'll just click on another page here. I just simply drag that up and I've replicated that same design on another page using different pictures. So very, very versatile and very easy to use. Um, now, if I wanted to, uh, for example, change the background of the page, very, very easy to do. Up on the, the right-hand side here of the software, we have various tools. There's a, an item tool or a shape tool here. Uh, this is a picture a tool which helps you adjust images, etc. There's a text tool, which we'll come back to later. A measurement tool for use with positioning images. And the last one is the page background tool. And I'll just demonstrate how that works. We can click on that and select a flat color for the background. And we're not limited to these colors. You can actually mix your own colors. So you can um, choose sliders and you can actually create your own mix of colors. If I just OK that, you'll get an idea of how that works. Um, at any stage during your layout, you can actually, this up in the left here, there are undo and redo buttons. So you can go back stages. And uh, if, if you don't, didn't want a flat background, for example, you could use one of our preset backgrounds, which are shown at the bottom. And if none of these are suitable, you can actually add your own. You can add your own photographs or textures. I'll, I'm just going to drag up uh, one of our preset ones for now. This is a wedding kind of style background. If I double click on that, you've got the same cropping tools that you have with the main photographs, so you can position that how you wish. And then uh, another thing you can do, sorry, is you can adjust the opacity of that background. You can make a tint for that, which is quite a popular effect that people want to do to make a subtle, um, subtle effect. Uh, another popular is actually adding something like a drop shadow to a photograph. And you can do this to a number at a time. So that's very popular. And you've got con complete control over the appearance of the drop shadow. So you can change the size of it, the opacity. Uh, so you've got a lot of control within the software. Uh, I'll just go to another spread to demonstrate this. I'll just go to, I'll go back to that first one. And Here's a demonstration of how to apply a mask to, the soft, uh, to a photograph. Um, along the bottom here, you see some uh, different masks that are actually built into the software. Uh, and if I just drag one of those, those up, you'll see that it changes uh, the photo in the same way that um, using a mask in Photoshop would. So it makes different areas of the photo transparent. I will just change the background of that page so you can see it properly. I'll just resize that slightly. So drag and drop all the time. You can drag up different masks onto the photos to get different effects. And like I said, you can create your own masks if you feel limited by the ones within the software. Now, if I wanted to add text, for example, to this page, I could just click on the text tool, position the text box, double click to type my text, and then I'll just put it in white so you can actually see it and choose a typeface, a suitable typeface, and select the size of that. So there you can see I've quickly added some text to that. Very versatile. Hello?
Hi, has my connection dropped? No, we can still hear you, mate. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hear anything. So I'll, I'll I, I can understand your concern this evening, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Surprisingly, I, I'm I was back as well. On there and, uh, <laughs> oh, hi, Richard. How are you? Right. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, so. So, this, sorry this is great, though. Uh, I, mean, I have to say, I love, love the software. This is looking really it. cool. Oh, it's it's very very good, very easy to use, um, and very powerful actually. There's there's lots of features within it that um, that actually are not obvious at first, but if you delve into it, you'll find that it's you can actually create something very elaborate um, or as simple as you like. And it's using this drag and drop interface. Uh, people lo people love it, and they love our templates. We've actually developed these over um, a few years now. Uh, to keep them simple and clean and effective without being too uh, gimmicky. Um, so they're actually templates that we see used in, in people's projects. Mm. So it's very, very encouraging to see people actually producing an album and using our templates. Um, they're very happy with them. So I'll, I'll demonstrate if I just drag up a template there. It's, uh, it's, it's great. You know, you can just... Just do that, and you can modify them as you wish. We don't, we don't lock anything. So I totally understand yeah, why. It's as great. Well. To get back. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I've shown you the the masks and adding backgrounds, etc. If I if I wanted to add my own uh, photograph here to the backgrounds, I could just click on a little tab here, and I could select. Um, if I just go to my folder. I could select that first image, for example, and that name's fine. You'll see it will appear down the bottom here, and then I can just drag it up onto the background, and it will add it. Just delete some of these so you can see it. That will actually add it as a background, so I can apply that to other spreads. Mm, nice. So, again, using the opacity tool, I could just adjust that to get a kind of a knockback effect. And, and you're not actually limited by the tools within the software. If you wanted to go and uh, design a, an elaborate layout in Photoshop or InDesign, for example, you could do so. And then you could export it as an image and then drag it into a, a picture box on, on our, uh, within the software. So you could actually produce quite an elaborate layered um, layout and import it in. So you, I know a lot of people like to use things like Lightbox and Photoshop, InDesign, um, Quark for, for their own kind of layouts. So you're, you're not actually limited if you find these tools aren't sufficient for your needs. Um, or, or you want to use fonts which, um, you know, are kind of strange, um, weird and wonderful fonts. You, you can easily do so. Um, in another package and then import it. Okay. So basically once you, oh sorry, uh, I, I was going to just say um, regarding positioning items on the page, uh, people find it very, they want to sometimes align things and uh, order things so that they're nicely lined up on the page. I'll take this one as an example. Um, if I take these images, I can control click or um, on a Mac or right click on a PC and you get a little menu pop up and this is very useful for aligning items and spacing items. So I can do this and I can go into space and I'll say I want for example a five millimeter gap between these items and it will do that for me. So you can create some quite uh, quite complicated setups. The, all these templates at the bottom have actually been created using the tools within the software. So a grid like this started off as a mixture of boxes on a page and simply using the align tools um, it was able to be brought into a, a kind of cohesive grid, um, if I can do it correctly. <laughs> uh, so you, you can create some very um, ordered and structured um, layouts yourself very easily without having to kind of resort to a lot of mathematics or or um, complicated page layout programs. I'll just get a, a layout back there. 
drag some images in. So basically, when you're you're happy with your your layout, um, you can then there are certain tools within the software where you can check the project and create a proof as well. And you can create a multi-page PDF proof, for example, to send to a client uh, for their approval. Um, and once they've approved that and they're happy with it, you could then click on the shopping cart icon here on the right and that will take you through to the, the payment gateway where you would uh, enter your account information and confirm your order details and then ultimately place your order. Um, once you've done, placed your order, you uh, the, your, the software automatically uploads your uh, photo book straight to the production department who immediately start to process your order and produce the book. So it's a very quick uh, process. The, an average upload takes about 20 minutes.